everybody. I'm in South Station on the bus getting ready to go to Logan Airport. I'm going to take you on my journey as I go from Boston to Inverness, Scotland. Next stop, Logan Airport. Here I am at Logan Airport. Look at all the flags from all over the world. All the people standing in line. I just checked my bag. Here we are in Scotland. This is the coffee shop. It says, Sear the Mill Fill Day, 100,000 welcome. So I've arrived in Scotland. I picked the Angel of Education. I thought that was very interesting. So the Angel of Education is gonna be with us on our little journey today. Today's January the 26th. So I wanna show you my house. So this is my front yard. Here's my rosemary plant. I created this, it's um, I call it like a, a sculpture and I collected rocks from the sea. This is my front window. So I have a few plants. This is my front door, my lovely front door, 21 Tulloch Park. And then over here, I just planted these so that I could have plants that I could um, not have to nurse while I was away and someone could watch over them for me. So here's my sign. It says Nanelle's. I used to have a business and so I put that in my window. Of course, I have wind chimes. They're like my favorite thing. So I have like this little sitting area right here. Yeah, so I'll show you pictures in the spring when everything is more in flower. So this is my front yard. And then as I walk into, this is my neighbor's house here. Gary lives there. I will show you. Um, so this, I have this great shed. It has electricity so I can do artwork and such there. So this is what they used to store coal in. So most of the houses have these. Um, this house was built probably in the 19, I'd say 30s. I recently had, I had this like half wall. So what I did is I had tile put into it so that it would be really nice. Um, you know, just something that had like a little bit more color. So this is my backyard and my flower pit. And over here, this tree in the back, I planted that, it's a memorial tree for my sister when she passed away. And then there's one over here for a friend of Elizabeth's who passed away, um, Alex. And so that's his memorial tree. So they're doing really well. So this is the back of my house. I have like a little side street. And this is where I walk to, um, to go get my groceries. And this is the Mosset Tavern, which is a really nice little like restaurant. This is my walk to the grocery store. It's beautiful. It's a duck pond. Um, I'll send pictures in the spring, which will have all daffodils. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's the pond. And then you can see some of the houses across the street. Very sort of English. And here's a little, a little chart in the floating edible garden. It's a weeping willow tree. I just love this over here. Imagine, you know, every time I go get my groceries, I don't need to go in the car. I just take like a knapsack with rollers. And then I walk through here. Look at this little bridge that I cross. And there's a stream here. First you can see it goes into this pond. There's streams like this all over Scotland. And it's beautiful. Just listen to the water. And then I cross over another bridge. So to hear a waterfall every single time you go for a walk across the bridge, it's just really special and again in the summer or the spring you'll see tons of daffodils here's the water from this side listen it's just beautiful and everything is green here all year round 
So now I'm at the grocery store and you can see the traffic is the opposite of how it is in the United States. This would be sort of like a stop and shop, I would say. There's two grocery stores in town. There's Little's and then there's Tesco's. Here it is, Tesco's entrance. I'm gonna go inside and just show you some of the prices because I'm really listening to the angel of education today to show you my little town of Forest where I live. I'll show you how reasonable things are here. Here's avocados are 70p. Organic celery is 120. 52 pence, one pound, 52 pence, 60 pence, kiwis, 95, organic mushrooms, and they are one pound 80, which is about two dollars. But look at this is the other side of, of the bridges and the waterfall that I walked over going to the grocery store. So I'm just on my way back now. I'm gonna show you the main street. It's very small, but it's just lovely. So this is a post office with a little bit of a convenience store. And then next door is this old church. And what they do is they have a garden where anyone could come and get food. These are all vegetables. There's people that just volunteer in the community. So this is part of your education. The nickel and dime store in the states it would be a five and dime so they sell all kinds of stuff these are charity shops so this is the red cross right here this is where i go to my osteopath on the same street so i'm still walking here's a tattoo studio here yep and then I just love this little store. I just went to this gent for to shorten a few of my skirts. But look at the colors here. So he's an Italian. His name is um, Alberto. The name of this restaurant is called Walk In Cantonese Restaurant Takeaway. Here's a sign. It's at a Turin. It says to let. Attorney's office, real estate. Um, there's a jeweler. This is the um, the downtown sort of hardware store. You can get anything there. And there's a bike buffet, and there's an Alzheimer's um, charity shop there. Right there is the pharmacy, and then there's the sign right next door, and there's a little alleyway. That's where I go to the health food store for all my health food items and fresh bread I can get there. But see, there's all these little alleyways. This is a popular um, pharmacy in the UK called Boots. There's a mobile store, real estate, home comforts. This is like a little newsstand store. This is looking in the other direction where we just came from. I just wanted to show you that. And here are the clock rings every hour on the hour. So I'm still on the main street. This is Toll Booth. That's a museum right there. But right here, this place is called 1496. And I went in one day and said, well, what does 1496 mean? What is the significance? And they said that that was the year that this town was established, was in 1496. So here's another charity shop. You can't buy anything new here. Um, I mean, there's a few places, but most of the places are, um, yeah, secondhand things. Titian, still walking down the road. And then this is a butcher. They have a couple of butchers here where they actually cut all the meat there. it fresh and then this is blue this is a store where you can buy brand new things 
home. So it's like a really sweet little shop. The people are really nice. Hey! So here's the hotel in the corner and the chiropractor house now. This is like an art gallery. So I've had some things framed here and they do have actually gifts. And this is a credit union pizza place and also another um, charity shop, a barber and savers. This is the town hall of Forest. And here are some of the events that are going on in the community. A lot of them are free. So we've just come from St. Leonard's Church. And here, yeah, I did get you. And here are savers. So now I'm going to walk and I'm going to show you where I walk all the time. I like this yard right here. Here it is. Look at this park. It's unbelievable. And these trees are so special. They have like a life force all of their own. And you can see they have just beautiful nests in the trees. I don't see too many now, but usually in the spring you'll see a lot of them. So I'm going to walk to the, the bottom of the hill of the sacred walkway. Look at this walkway. This is like the sacred walk for me. Every time I go for a walk into the hills, because there's rolling hills all in this, this whole area, which I'll show you. Uh, we're going to go up to a place called St. It's called um, Nelson's Tower. And at Nelson's Tower, this is kind of in the middle of this walkway, this sacred walkway. And then now um, I'm approaching to the bottom of the hill. This is where I usually go to take another sit before getting up to the tower and you can just see it through the forest. Here it is, the Nelson's Tower. This is right near Nelson's Tower. I'm just a little bit to the right and in the distance you can see the ocean there, which we will, I'll look at it when we get to the tower. But this was just a random, piece of wood that people came and carved out. You can kind of see how far they got to here. Oh, they did finish and then they, they did the tail, but it's really awesome. You can sit on it. A lot of the schools come up here and look at it but we're gonna go up to the tower. Here's the door to the tower. It was built in 1806. So now I'll show you Findhorn Bay. So this is in the distance. This is where the community of Findhorn originated. But right at the, the very, you can see the very tip is the village of Findhorn. And then, so I'm just four miles from there. Well, this is the end of our tour. And we've seen Findhorn Bay. We've seen the tower. We saw the town where I lived, where I live now. So blessings to everyone. I miss you. And I look forward to showing you more of the beautiful places in Scotland and the reasons why I'm here. I feel so connected to the planet here. It's just really special. 
So see you soon. Bye-bye. Here it is, the end of my first video.